T-Formers is the ultimate Transformers fan news site. From industry news, user reviews, to staff features, T-Formers is your source for everything in the Transformers fandom. Check out T-Formers website today at tformers.com. Oh, uh, the camera's on? Wait, what month is this? Oof, uh, better late than never. Okay, I guess it is time for me to go over my top 10 Transformers action figures of 2023 for tformers.com. The rules are simple. These are my top 10 best action figures that I reviewed in 2023, and not necessarily those that I received that year. Do not expect a bottom 10, as they rarely acquire action figures that I think that I will not like. Take it away, Soundwave. Number 10. So Nova Prime is a big boy. He's, of course, a leader class. And uh, so, you know, trying to mess with this sizable guy. And, of course, he's wearing armor similar to the Siege and Earthrise slash Kingdom. I can't remember when Magnus came out, but, I mean, I'm aware of, like, when uh, Optimus came out in Siege and then Magnus had two forms. and It's a whole thing. Because there was the, uh, the upgrade, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus, which just is based on... Number nine. And, of course, I had mentioned that uh, Defcon is a blur mold, and, uh, yeah, he, he, they do enough of, of a good bunch of changes that you were like, it, this needs to be blur. And uh, in case you were wondering why I am doing this reverse transformation, because everybody does it the way he comes in box, I just want to be different. So he comes with a pistol, which uh, you can mount under the nose of the vehicle. Uh, like... A, you know, it's like, is there another place you can mount it? I mean, you can obviously stick it in all these pegs. Number eight. So, I, uh, I, I dig this, as I mentioned before. Her, um, she's basically a remold of the Alita mold and the Minerva mold. And, um, so there's, there's nothing really new there other than some of the way they did the front end. Her weapon is, uh, clear-ish. It's translucent. So I don't know how well you can see that. But we'll put it over there. And uh, so it's one of those things where you got to transform the top. Number seven. So getting a look at him, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, he has a nice little uh, night cap going thing on. I think I do. I, I almost swear I remember that from the cartoon. I can't remember though if it was from the last three episodes of the main G1 series or Headmasters. Uh, but uh, I swear I've seen it before. And uh, as we go look around, he's the typical jet. His transformation is somewhat similar to Silver Bolt from the Combiner Wars series. So, uh, number six. So here he is in all his glory, and he's fantastic. Uh, I only have one QC issue. It's this wing here. It won't stay attached. I tried to shave it, but it just it won't stay. This one's the other side is fine. Um, I mean, you see they cut the plastic and a little shave here, but I mean that's common in some Transformers anyway. So. Whatever, but I mean, look at the way the back is. You can do the wings any way you want here. I'm, I'm just, I kind of think they're really cool. That he has like jetpack on here. Oh, looks like he unclipped a little bit, but um. Number five. So uh, Tarantulas came with in, in wrapped up paper, kind of smooshed into the back of the box here. Uh, the same type of, or actually, is it the same type of piece? Yeah, pretty much the same thing that uh, Black Arachne got, except maybe a little larger. Yeah, a little larger. Uh, and then he also gets his surgical saw because anybody who remembers Beast Wars, he is a mad scientist. So he has his, it doesn't spin or anything, but it's nicely textured. Actually, actually the whole thing is nicely. Number four. So Jaxus has a nice thin design, kind of reminds me of Tarn. Not a lot of kibble going on. He does have this set of guns. And um, it's this nice red one. Uh, then this uh, clear one with gray paint on it. Uh, I figure like I'd lose it really easily, so I just keep it attached to the other. Uh, there is this bit here that comes off that is super tight on mine, which, I mean, probably better than losing it. But um, it has a 5 millimeter point on the back. Number three. So Tarn comes with this cannon set up here, um, which I really much like because it's, it's versatile on both modes. Uh, you can do what I just did with it, or you can reposition them to be just kind of like put away. Uh, minimal backpack too, so that's really great. Uh, the only QC issue I have is uh, one of these Q 
keeps popping off, but I mean, it's easy enough to be fixed. But uh, I mean, otherwise, he is a he, he he's a hover tank. I guess is the best play, uh, way to say it. Number two. And this has some light piping. Yep, that is spectacular. He uh, his hands, as I mentioned, are articulate on a finger, and then he has these inside. Or the there's like the, the pointy finger moves, and then the other three fingers are attached. I think it's the same situation with Rodimus. Um, if I can get the fingers out, yes. There you go. So um, he can hold his. So, Metal Hawk, as a Voyager class, he's a pretty big guy. He's uh, he's decent. You know, it, it, plus side no waffling, so that's great. Um, my only real complaint is his knee joints are weak. He can't he can't compete with the Cy the original Cyclonus for uh, for uh, I guess it was uh, uh, War for Cybertron, but spectacular Cyclonus. Uh, he is a pretty close second for this mold. Obviously, we got this guy here in the, in the other colors, and he's okay. But uh, to explain. <laughs> Jeez, you again? The countdown is over. You can go back to whatever you were doing on tformers.com before you started watching this. Uh, do not make me sick, Soundwave, on you. Scoot! Soundwave superior. Blaster inferior. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on this video. Did you like what you saw, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.